Hey Hashtag, I'm Joe. Today I'm going to be talking about MGMT's new album, Loss of Life. Loss of Life is MGMT's fifth studio album, which was released on February 23rd. The duo originally announced the album in October following the release of their single, Mother Nature. They would go on to drop three more singles from the album before the full release. MGMT is well known for their debut album, Oracular Spectacular, in 2009, which was critically acclaimed for its unique blend of electronic and indie music. Songs like Kids and Electric Field topped charts and gave the duo their big break. Following Oracular Spectacular, MGMT would release three more studio albums that would struggle to maintain the same level of popularity as their debut. The 2018 album Little Dark Age would eventually receive the love it deserved after their self-titled song went viral on TikTok. Now more than half a decade after their studio album, MGMT is trying something different with Loss of Life. The album provides listeners with a more upbeat indie sound instead of MGMT's renowned electronic sound that fans are used to. In an interview with music blog Stereo Gum, Andrew Van Weingarten said, quote, a lot of these songs were worked out on an acoustic guitar first, and there's definitely a lot of synths on the album, but the start of the songs were usually on piano or acoustic guitar. So it's also in line with our goal of wanting to make something that was more emotionally direct and raw. I think this approach worked really well for MGMT. The guitar provides a nice and happy tone that matches the song's theme of being carefree and going with the flow of things. This doesn't mean MGMT abandoned the synths entirely. In the song Dancing in Brooklyn, the synths are at the forefront of the track and create the iconic sound that MGMT fans are used to. The song features indie band Christine and the Queens, who helped push the indie synth sound MGMT was going for. I think Dancing in Brooklyn is one of the best songs off the album, especially with the guitar that Christine and the Queens provide. Some of my favorite songs from the album include Nothing Changes and People in the Streets. These two songs have a more mellow and relaxed sound that I really enjoyed. They're also some of the longer songs of the album, running 538 minutes and 635 minutes respectively. Overall, MGMT has created a strong album with Loss of Life. Although the runtime is only 45 minutes and 10 tracks, every song has intent and is made with care. MGMT's new indie-focused sound works very well and I cannot wait to see where it takes them. Although the album is not on the same level as Oracular Spectacular or Little Dark Age, I think it cements itself really well in MGMT's discography. That's all I have. Hashtag that will be back after this short commercial break.